Welcome back. Well, did you know that most of the artichokes grown in the United States come from right here in California? I never thought about I that did before. Not know that. <laughs> <laughs> and Ross Thomas visited an artichoke farm in Monterey County to show us how you can make a delicious dish out of the vegetable right at home. I'm here in the kitchen at Pizzini Farms. Hey, Sean. How's it going? It's going great. So I know we're gonna do some cooking with artichokes, but before we dive in, I'm going to the store and I'm looking for a good artichoke. What do I need to look for? Yeah, definitely. So I think some of the main things are you want the artichoke to feel nice and dense for its size. You wanna look at the leaves, make sure they look nice and green and not dehydrated. So I do have an example of a older one here. <laughs> Yeah, you could definitely see yeah. the difference between those two. Okay. You start to see these streaks. That means it's getting dehydrated. The leaves start curling in, kind of a rubbery stem. So definitely avoid these. Go with these guys. Got it. Okay, and then I bring the artichoke home. What's the best way to store it, and how long will it last once I get it to my kitchen? Yeah, so the best way to store it is in the refrigerator for sure. They break down way quicker if they're not refrigerated. Um, you can keep them in a plastic bag. Just make sure they're not getting too much moisture and starting to get some mold. Um, and try and use them within the first week. They will last up to two weeks, but that first week is kind of the prime. Great tips, and this is not something you see every day at the store. I think we're gonna make something with these baby artichokes. Where can one find these? So they're a little bit of a specialty thing to find. Um, Pizzini Farms, you can find them there, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but um, specialty stores um, can have them here and there, so. Okay, keep, Yeah. and I'm seeing some interesting coloration, almost purple on the bottom. Is that a sign of a good baby artichoke, or does it matter? It's just kind of the variety is the purple. Um, you also find some, you know, some markings on the outside and stuff. Doesn't matter too much. Um, you're mainly going to take most of these outer leaves off and use the heart. And speaking of the heart, these are also what's in those jarred artichokes that we do see at the stores. Right? Exactly, exactly. So how do they go from this to what we see in the jar? Yeah, well, I can go ahead and show you right yeah, now. Yeah, please. So you're going to take this artichoke and for the baby one, we're going just for the heart of it. So you want to take off all these outer leaves until you kind of see some um, yellow down there. All these outer leaves are pretty bitter, and this yellow is what you're going for right here. So you take off those, and you're gonna cut this stem back a little bit. Okay. Take off more of this green, because again, the green is the bitter part. You get down to this all nice white heart right there. You're gonna cut off right there at the yellow. Okay. Now it's starting to look a little bit like a artichoke heart that you normally see. So that's halved and you can also quarter them. Quarter it up. And there's your quartered hearts you normally see in the jar. Man, you make that look too easy. All right, I'm gonna try one, but you might have to coach me along the way. So I'm pulling off the sort of harder outer leaves. Yeah, until you see a little I'm bit of yellow. For that nice yellow color. Exactly. And then I wanna just trim the stem back a little bit. Is that good? That's perfect. I'm gonna trim this outside without chopping my thumb off. Hopefully, we shall see. Because the green, I was paying attention, the green, dark green is, is what makes it bitter, right? Exactly. All right, how's that look, that good? That looks good. And then I forget, do we take off the top part? Just down a little bit. Just, just about yeah. there? Yeah, perfect. Just the skosh, okay. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and quarter it up, yeah? There you go. Bada boom. Bada bing. All right, and now that we have these beautiful quarters, this is what we have soaking right here, which is ultimately gonna end up in that frying pan right there. So tell us, how do we get some really good batter going with these? So as you're preparing the artichokes, you wanna get them into some lemon water because they will ox start oxidizing very quickly and turning brown. So you put them in that lemon water to soak a little bit. From there, we're gonna take them and we're just gonna put them in this batter we have right here. Okay. It's a little blend of some flour and some spices. So from here, I'm just gonna kind of mix them around, dredge them a little bit in this batter. Yep, every artichoke likes a good dredging, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> from here, we're ready to go in the oil. Wow, those are gorgeous. Look at that yeah. golden brown. Can I go ahead and help them turn yeah. these bad boys out? Yeah, go ahead out? and pop them on there. All right, we got the baby artichokes out of the fryer. Any finishing touches? I'm just gonna hit them with a little bit of salt, a splash of lemon, and we're all set. Buen provecho. Dig in. 
Oh, are you kidding me? That is so good. Lightly breaded, mm -hmm. love the seasoning, and of course the artichoke, man. Thank you so much, Sean. Yeah, no problem, thanks for coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs>